Phosphordot fans, Earl at thelogbook.com. We've traveled back in time to 1983 and again to the arcade. Listen to that. This is Gyrus. This is a game that is as memorable probably for its music as anything else that happens in the game. And I'm not sure if I've got the levels balanced right. I tried to eyeball it, but if you can't tell, if you don't remember, this game serenaded you with a techno rendition of Box, Toccata, and Fugue the whole time you were playing. Now the game itself was kind of like difficult. It was very difficult. Um, it was basically what would happen if you put Galaga in a 3D space. And that made it very difficult. I'm a little out of practice. I'm a little out of practice and I'm playing with emulator controls, which is not making my life any easier. And I don't think I made it off the first screen. Let's try that again. As you can see, you get a bonus if you can actually stand your ground and not panic and take out an entire incoming wave of ships. But who among us can do that? <laughs> Oof. And it was just about to get good because those little guys that you saw show up, if you get the one in the middle, suddenly you are shooting double shots. One warp to Neptune. You're progressing inward, starting from the outer solar system. If you make it that far, which I'm not sure I will today. Surprisingly, this game used a joystick and not a rotary controller, not a dial. So, while I think it's fair to say that it does borrow something from Tempest in terms of its viewpoint, it does not borrow Tempest's control scheme, which I think might actually have been an improvement. Oof. Oof. Shouldn't even be using my preferred initials on this game. I should just put oof. Those guys, I'm not even going to bother them. <laughs> oh. This is painful. This is embarrassing. Oh, wow. I actually get... <laughs> that game gets my initials on. In, in fifth place. Let's try again.
One warp to Neptune. Let's make it count. Actually took out the whole wave. Yeah, now if you already have the double shot, there is no further power up. You'll just get some bonus ships showing up. And killing you. Oh, this is going to hurt. When you get to a planet, it's basically the equivalent of Galaga's challenging stage. Only now I don't have the double shot because I just got blown up. Ah, uh, not good enough. Oh, and there's, uh, roving force field dragnet kind of thing that kind of starts to show up at this point in the game to to blow you up like that. I need no help blowing up like that. I'm quite capable of blowing myself up. Was that supposed to happen? What was that? What was that? Uh, I don't think that was kosher. <laughs> I don't think that was quite cricket, whatever that was. That was, uh... I've never seen that happen before. So, there you have it. Gyrus from the arcade. A much beloved game, if also a punishing game. And obviously the music was such a selling point that it is included in the attract mode. Uh, that's how you know that they knew that they were onto something.